Hello guys, let's start uh, to learn a little bit about the sky vector and how you can plan for a visual flight, a VFR flight. This is really useful tool. You can do many, many things here. You can learn about the weather, you can learn about the tracks, everything in one website and it is free. Sky Vector is free. So you don't have to pay anything. You can create an account, you can save all your plans, you can share, you can send this for different platforms, for different apps. So let's start. Imagine that you want to take a flight from Jacksonville, you are going to north. You are going to, uh, let's see the city here, so Hilton Hat. Okay, first thing to do, you go on the airport, let's zoom here. So here you have Jacksonville, Kilo Charlie Romeo Golf. You click with the right button and you see some information here. You click plan. First thing to do, click the right button of the airport and put plan. Go in your destination. And same thing, right button and plan. What is happening here? He put a line. If you see, he used the same line as we have here, a direction from one airport to the other. And he telling you, you go in direction 25, 27 degrees on your compass, 121 nautical miles. And on the left side, you can include more information. Imagine that your airplane go 135 on speed. And you make update. You want to include that you go 6,500 feet high. And you, you have some information here more. You're going to take a distance about 120.6, the same. And estimate time will be 47 minutes okay and it get it give you from to where what you have more here imagine that you go like spot to spot so you you clock one spot to the other so imagine that you depart from here the first spot you want to make it's visually you see this airport here you see the Fernandina Beach. So over this one here, you click with the right button and you put plan, but over the GPS. You see, he create a pin here and tell you the same distance 17 to the first spot. So you see here, like, uh, when you are passing by this area after 70 miles, you can like spot the place. Okay, you have 104 more. During this place here, you go over the ocean. But imagine that you don't want to go over the ocean. You want to go like airport to airport. So you run, you grab this line here and put over the airport. And you see here, so you put the plan over this airport. The Simon, this is Kilo Sierra Sierra India airport. This is the Simon Island. And the next one, I recommend you take every 20, if, if it is an airport, you can see far from that. So I recommend about 30, it's okay. But Usually it's like 20 miles, ever 20 miles. So we have to find a place here that we can see from the sky because you are departing here. So uh, I can see this is small spot here, like the last one. So I click with the right side and put plan on GPS. If I put plan over the airport, he will grab this airport here. But if you put plan on the GPS, 
he keep the same spot why I'm choosing this spot here you see it's like a peninsula it's like almost an island so it's easy to see and I have plus 16 nautical miles until the airport so I can descend using this space here so I have a uh, 57 miles here I need to find one or two spot in the middle so this entrance here it's pretty easy to see from the sky so I mark this on the middle here you need to be in a must be like 90 degrees because you see from the airplane to the left side so I have to see so I, I put this spot here again right button on the mouse and plan this so I mark this plan here so what do we have now we have the first leg to the airport plus the first leg to the airport 70 miles 33 miles 37 miles maybe it's too much and 21 miles maybe you can get a second one here so let's get a second one here um, I recommend these let's see it's a little tough here you can mark the like the second one here again right click and GPS so I have 11 miles 26 miles on the left side you have all your information so if you wanna see if you go on this button here on the top you see leg by leg so you see step by step so you go from Jacksonville executive airport the Craig and you go for 17 nautical miles he tells you 8.4 minutes according to to what according to your speed you are taking from here and you go one by one so you can count on minutes it's pretty easy yeah it's pretty easy okay so you can go a little further imagine that you want to see how is the weather here you click here on the top you have these layers and you can see some information here you have the wind I took out the wind you can have like the weather you see the weather it's a little tough the weather here it's why this airport here it's on red because it's closed and this one here it's parallel blue because it's visually with some orientation that you need to take on um, if you run over the mouse over it you can see straight your the metar so we have some few clouds at 200 at 200 feet so visually maybe it's not so easy when it's passing through here this second one here will be pretty hard because I see the weather it's it's not easy here so you have to use the minutes and follow your plan it's 135 miles okay when you get close to the airport it's getting easier so you can turn it off here the weather and you can export all this information to apps if you click here on the top you can export this to far flight you can export this to Garmin pilot remember sky vector it's used by real pilots so you can create this file that's used for different applications or you can send to your email if you send to your email you're gonna have two things you're gonna have the information about the airport remember if you can back here just minimize this so if you run rover the airport click on the right button and pass your mouse over the name you see airport diagram and if you click on that you can see your airport diagram everything 
you can see taxiway, you can see the runaway, size, altitude. This is a real information from the airport. So imagine that you want some information for VOR, runaway 14. You have it. So you have here everything, uh, the radio, and when you have to go, and the orientation, all the information. Okay? Another thing so useful about the sky vector that I love it is when you go, uh, when you do a double click and see the airport, you can, uh, you can take this and save this map as PDF. Or, if I, like I told you, you go here on the flight plan and send to you and send to your email you receive everything of course you can sign in and you can save all this information you can save this plan and have everything on your on your computer for future if you zoom in out if you zoom in out a little you can see more information what do we have here you have to go in the in the direction 27 so we have a station view VOR here. What is this station? You see here, Craig, Vortak, Craig. It's the station 114.5. So we have all this information here. You are departure from here. The Microsoft Flight Simulator is totally real about this. When you put this station, you have in your in your knob all this orientation. Okay. And on the map, we have more things. I like, I prefer this one than Navigraph. A little Navi map, because they have the spots, so that you see better from the sky. Imagine that this one here, it's a, it's a big pole, so you can see that it's useful for you. Here we have a bridge. Here we have a marina. All this information you can have on if you Google you see better to understand better okay this is a basic about to make a plan there is a lot of more information you can put this straight you can go uh, using uh, you change here the map that you are using okay Thank you, people.